This is a quick video on how to add an event to your event calendar. I've loaded the plugin events, which you load a plugin over under installed plugins, and you would hit add new. The event that calendar that I have added is called the event calendar. So I'm going to, in when I loaded that plugin, it added an event right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add an event. So I'm going to hit um, add new. And I'm going to name my event class one. And I'm going to detail describe what it is, what you will learn in this class and give them a great description of what it is that they're going to learn. Now you come down here and the event class starts on a particular day and it, and it starts at 8 a.m. and it ends on the same day at say 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You could click all day event if it was just an all day event it would click there. Now you can add a venue name which is going to be at Lincoln City Community. Well, let's put then. Oregon Coast Community College and our address there is we'll say 800 College Way I don't think that's the address and the city of Lincoln and it's in the United States in the state of Oregon Now the nice thing is, is after you save a venue, here's the college's number, and if you have a website you could put that in there too. Now you could put in the organizer's name, it's going to be Misty, I'm going to put in my phone number here and my email address. If I've created a special website or a special place for that separately from this one and I'm going to say this is a hundred dollar event. Oh, currency, it's dollars, sorry. Cost is 100 and there we go. Now I could put in picture of the event. I only have a bunny rabbit picture today. Now it has some objects stick in, sticky in calendar view which means they could push it to a calendar. I could also add an event. This is educational. And see now it clicks it in the educational. This is also maybe an animal event. This is also a child friendly. You could put in as many categories as you want to give people information about. These are search categories. So if somebody types in search for child friendly, it would give all the child friendly, give them all the animal events or all the educational events or etc. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this event. And now if I view event, it tells me the time, the cost, all the details of the event. It allows me to put it on my Google Calendar or my iCalendar. It tells you the venue and it's, I put in the wrong address, but it would actually put a dot on the map and include a Google Map link to that. It knew that that was the Oregon Coast Community College. There it is, Oregon Coast Community College. So everything is pretty much set for someone to be able to make, to be able to come to your event. So that's how you add an event to the all-in-one event calendar. If you click on all events, you will see that here's the class that I set up and it's in a smaller view. If I had multiple events, they would stack in this case. 
So that's um, how you create an event calendar, and it it's a great plugin and it works wonderful to add in all of your different events.